Hi everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new products that we have coming in our store. For example, we got this brand new Walther's kit here. This is the Blast Furnace with stairways and railings and this is a monster kit. So if you have a spare 12 or 14 hours, you can put this together. This is a behemoth. As you can see here, it is 27 inches by 17 inches and the height is 22 inches. This is a huge kit. Uh, some assembly is required. This is gonna be retailing in our store for $1.99. This is a tremendous uh, detailed kit if you wanna put on your layout to have that industrial scene. I recommend going with the Blessed Furnace with Stairways and Railings kit. This is a neat one. And another new thing that we got in stock here are the Walther's Proto Wheels, okay? And these are the 36 inches. Of course, we have them in other sizes. These are retailing at our store for $65. You get 100 different metal wheels in here so if you want to put these uh wheels on your rail cars to make them roll nice and smooth down your track come in and get your proto uh wheels to put on your rolling stock items speaking of rolling stock we have some brand new atherin cars that we're going to be taking a look at here if we take a look here we have some prime for grime cars here as you can see the detailing that atherin has put on these pieces here to make them look weathered I'm sure probably this was a car that was supposed to look red at some point, so it got kind of uh, faded in the sun. Now it has this pink appearance here. We have a nice Stone Container Corporation car here. And of course, the neat thing about all these things, as you can see, they rarely paint the roofs on these cars, and you can see the detailing right there. It will look prototypical with the rear rear right there. We have here another one. This one has a bunch of, I like the reflective tape that we have here on the various cars here. And of course the various different patches say the car has changed uh, hands a few times and the road name needs to be adjusted for the new railroad. We got that detailing there. And of course we have a couple of flat cars here. And as you can see, we got uh, the TP, uh, TTPX here. And of course we have the cushion load for the Union Pacific. And of course, there are various types of uh, items that Walters or Athens or any other company sells that you can put in those cars should you desire them to have a load. Okay, these cars range in our store anywhere from $25 and up. They all have different prices, so I don't want to bore you with all the different ones. But you can check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and see what the specific one uh, costs that you are interested in and add that to your fleet of rolling stock. Brand new diesel locomotives here from Athens that we're going to check out. The first one here is this electromotive engine here, number 8000. As you can see, that is a really cool looking engine. Not one that you necessarily see that often, but I always think variety is good. So I'll have a different color on your railroads. Never a bad thing. And speaking of the opposite, a very common engine, but still a really nice one, is the Norfolk Southern. As you can see there, I got the yellow hand railings, which is always nice. I got the various different decaling, warning labels, etc. for this engine. That is a really nice one. And then, of course, one of my personal favorites, I always like this Conrail quality. I remember these in the late 90s. This is a great looking locomotive that you want to put on your railroad there. And again, these are SD80 Max. And these are fantastic looking locomotives from Athens. Now, you probably were wondering too, if you ever needed to do any repairs on these engines, how do I do it? Well, check this out. We got the brand new cradles from ESU. These are terrific looking um, repair designs here. I have a couple different ways I can work on my trains. Of course, I could put them here. Whatever type of repair work I would need to do, I would do it here. Or if I wanted to do some 
upside down work there. I could put it in that cradle as well. And then if you also notice here, I also have a magnetic strip just in case I want to put some small parts there uh, that are magnetized, the strip will hold on to it. And what's really neat about these things is actually if you take a look at the bottom, you're going to see that I have the opportunity to actually expand these. So say if I have a really long looking locomotive that I want to work on, I want to put two of these together. Well, you just take this out, you take the part here that connects the two and you just, uh, put it together and now you have an extra long cradle. These cradles sell retail for $19.99. We're selling them at Yankee Dabbler for $15.99. And it's a great way to work on your engines without damaging them. Because after all, we want to take care of our engines. A safe engine is a happy engine. These engines retail for $338.98. We are actually selling them at our store for $288.98. And that is a great deal to add to your roster. We actually have another engine here that is a little bit different uh, classification here. We have the SD75M, and this is the Progress Rail engine. What's really neat about this one is you can see the various different uh, patchwork that is done to replace this. Obviously, at one point, this was a war bonnet Santa Fe uh, diesel locomotive, but of course it's been uh, repurposed for a different row name. I particularly like the front, as you can see, the Santa Fe obviously is missing, but the board bonnet paint scheme still remains. So this is a really neat looking locomotive, and actually this one's a little bit cheaper. We're selling this one at our store for $271.98. Uh, so I always like things that have a little bit different variety, and I think this is a really neat engine to add to your fleet. We're going to test this puppy out and see what she sounds like. Let's go. All right, so we're going to test out that Progress Rail engine. These have Shinabi 2 decoder and sound, as well as uh, LED headlighting, and you're going to hear and see all that momentarily. So let's start her up, shall we? Here's the horn. Great sounding horn. Here's the bell. And the way we go. So this is a great looking diesel locomotive that if you want to add to your layout, come into Yankee Dabbler and come get these because uh, they look and sound pretty good. I don't think they're going to last too long. So come in and check them out. All right, just because I like to play with all the toys we have here, we're going to run one in the SD80 Max too. All aboard.
fact that a lot of diesel locomotives today, but I'm feeling the need. The need for steam. Maybe? All right, so we're gonna have here our brand new N-Scale uh, Broadway Limited Pennsylvania Railroad engine that we're gonna take a look at. We have the Pennsylvania T1 Duplex, and this is this a stunning looking engine here. My personal favorite part of this engine is the tender. It's just such a great looking design there. It's kind of like a semi-streamlined type of look. Um, these were great looking engines, uh, no matter what uh, scale that you model. If you have a T1, I'm sure it's probably an engine that you enjoy running. As you can see here, of course, it is an articulated, so I have a four, 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 four wheel arrangement here. And of course, it has all the great things that you expect from Broadway Limited, such as the great detailing, the um, DCC and sound capabilities, LED lighting, all the great features. So enough of just looking at it. Let's hear what she sounds like. And I absolutely love this startup sequence. All right. Here's the whistle. Alright, that's a very prototypical Pennsylvania sound. We got the bell. And let's roll her up. As you're going to notice, as it starts to creep out, you're going to hear kind of the hissing of the cylinders. And then as you get some momentum, that's when you hear the chugging. All aboard. I never said I was a great engineer. I guess I, that was a good reminder to say that you probably need some wide radius curves to run this piece on your layout. So this engine sells for $419.99. We are selling a Yankee Dabbler for $299. It's a great looking engine. My personal favorite uh, feature with the sounds you just heard, I love how the, uh, the articulated uh, cylinders are first somewhat out of sync and you kind of hear them fighting each other, and then eventually you get kind of like a rhythmic groove there. So I think that's just a great sounding engine. So come on in, get these for your railroad because they're not going to be here for long. All right, so now we're going to go to N-Scale land, and we have some brand new Kato items, or is it Kato? I'm not really sure, but as the song says, you say Kato, and I say Kato, either or. These are really nice looking SD70 ACEs that we got here. And as you can see, these are really detailed looking uh, locomotives here. Now, of course, unfortunately, these designs are actually only DC powered engines. So if you're looking to have DCC, unfortunately, this is not for you. But for you DC guys out there or girls, these are really nice looking pieces. And as you can see, I had the Burlington Order to Santa Fe. I have the 1943. I have the Norfolk Southern. And 
And then, of course, I have an engine we've actually looked at in HO before. This is the Quadruple 11 powered by the people, and that is a great looking engine. Just take a look at that design there with all the various different uh, people that work for the Union Pacific. That is a great looking engine that you can have on your layout. All right, so again, they, these are DC looking, uh, I'm sorry, these are DC operating lo uh, locomotives, but for you DC people out there, this is a great option to have for you. We sell, they retail for 138, we're actually selling them at our store for 89.99. So come on in, get these for your uh, layout because they're gonna look great pulling your consoles around the layout. All right, so I should let you know that all of the engines that we have tested today are set to the original factory settings. Of course, all these engines are customizable to the ID numbers and modifications that you want to make with them. We've been getting a lot of questions too about how you place orders on our website, and it could be simpler. What you do is you create an account of our on our website at yankeedabble.com. You find whatever items that you are looking for on our website. If you don't see it on our website, that probably means we don't have it. But if you uh, want to give us a call, feel free to do so. We can see if we can have or if we can get whatever items that you are looking for. Put in your shopping cart, place your order, and our expert team will get that stuff packed up and shipped out to you as fast as humanly possible, okay? All right, well, that's everything that we had to show for you here today. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that subscribe button. So thank you very much for tuning in to us here at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.